Ever seen a darts player fall off the stage? More accidents happen than you think during a darts match. In a dramatic showdown, Chisnell faced the worst moment on the stage as he struggled to keep up with Anderson's precision. Despite hitting a remarkable five 180s in a row, Chisnell found himself on the losing end of the opening set, courtesy of Anderson's impressive 104 checkout. The second set followed a similar pattern, with Anderson once again snatching the deciding leg. But Chisnell showed resilience, finally claiming a set by withstanding Anderson's break of his throw. Then, he defied the odds, levelling the score at 2-2 with a lightning fast three consecutive leg wins. Just when it seemed Chisnell might mount a comeback, Anderson struck back with a stunning 124 finish on the bullseye, regaining the lead. Nevertheless, Chisnell refused to back down, tying the match at three sets each. However, in a crucial twist, he faltered at a pivotal moment, missing four critical doubles that handed Anderson a 4-3 advantage. Chisnell's misfortune continued as he missed three more doubles in the following set, giving Anderson the control he needed to secure his 16th consecutive victory at the World Darts Championship. It was indeed a heartbreaking moment for Chisnell, who had shown flashes of brilliance, but ultimately fell short in this thrilling encounter on the darts stage. One such moment occurred during the 2011-12 PDC World Darts Championship, a moment that forever etched itself into the memory of James Wade. The stage was set for Wade to potentially claim his first World Championship title, adding to his impressive list of televised triumphs. He had navigated his way to the semi-final showdown with Adrian Lewis. As the match unfolded, it seemed like Wade's destiny to seize that elusive World Championship crown. He surged to a commanding 5-1 lead in sets, and his clinical finishing and unflappable demeanour on the stage made victory appear inevitable. However, However, fate had other plans. A bizarre distraction intervened. For Wade, this unexpected interruption would prove to be the catalyst for an agonising turn of events. After the break, Wade had a golden opportunity to close out the match, holding a match dart in the 8th set. But in the cruelest twist of fate, the match dart slipped through his fingers. He couldn't convert, and from that point onward, Lewis, seizing on the opportunity and fueled by a newfound momentum, proceeded to win every single leg, completing an astounding comeback victory. As if the loss itself wasn't painful enough, there was another layer of heartbreak for Wade. When the players initially departed the stage following the distraction, Wade had been two sets ahead. He returned alone, awaiting Lewis's return, but it was a long and lonely wait. Eventually, Lewis agreed to resume play but by then, the tide had irreversibly turned. Reflecting on that night, Wade would later lament, if I hadn't been a gentleman, I would have been world champion. It was a statement laden with the agony of missed opportunity. Wade firmly believed that had they stayed on the stage during the interruption, the outcome would have been different. In his heart, he felt he would have conquered Adrian Lewis and gone on to defeat Andy Hamilton in the final. Alas, it wasn't to be. Adrian Lewis, riding the waves of his astonishing comeback, went on to successfully defend his world championship crown. For James Wade, it was a bitter pill to swallow. The world championship, the pinnacle of the sport, had slipped from his grasp. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Moving forward our list, Daryl Gurney, a highly talented Northern Irish darts player, has had his share of memorable moments in the world of professional darts. However, one of his worst moments on the stage came during a historic match against Rob Cross at the World Match Play. The stage was set at the iconic Winter Gardens, and anticipation was high, as these two formidable players squared off. The match started with Gurney taking the lead, showcasing his skill and precision. He displayed incredible scoring power, landing six maximums in the opening ten legs, leaving fans in awe of his prowess. Gurney was in control and seemed poised to secure a comfortable victory. However, the turning point in the match came when Cross began a remarkable comeback from a seemingly insurmountable deficit. Gurney, who had been so dominant in the early stages of the match, suddenly started to falter, particularly in the finishing department. He spurned multiple opportunities at the double, squandering 38 crucial darts at double to close out legs. One of the most agonising moments for Gurney came when he missed the ball for a show-stopping 170 checkout. It was a shot that could have not only electrified the crowd, but also potentially demoralised Cross. Instead, it turned into a pivotal moment that allowed Cross to claw his way back into the match. As the match progressed, Gurney's confidence in his finishing waned, and Cross capitalised on the
on these mistakes. The crowd at the Winter Gardens began to sense a historic fight back in the making. Cross, the 2018 world champion, displaying incredible composure under pressure. His finishing became clinical and he fired in impressive legs, including a majestic 10 dart hold and a nerveless 88 finish on double seven. The match that had seemed like a one-sided affair suddenly turned into one of the most improbable comebacks in the history of the world match play. Gurney went from being in control with a commanding lead to facing the daunting task of trying to stop Cross's relentless surge. In the end, Cross completed the greatest comeback in world match play history, winning eight consecutive legs to secure a 17-15 victory. It was undoubtedly a heart-wrenching moment for Gurney, who had been so close to victory but couldn't hold on to his lead. Gary Anderson, a two-time world champion in the world of professional darts, has experienced his fair share of highs and lows on the stage. However, one of the lowest points in his career came in a particularly dramatic and controversial match against Gerwin Price. The stage was set for an epic showdown as Anderson trailed 11-8 in a best of 31 match. What followed was a remarkable display of resilience from Price, who managed to claw his way back into the match, winning eight of the last 10 legs. It was a comeback for the ages, but what made this moment particularly memorable, or rather regrettable for Anderson, was the intense rivalry and heated exchanges that unfolded during the match. Scottish dart sensation Anderson and fiery Welshman Price clashed not just in terms of dart skill, but also in terms of temperament. Anderson, known for his calm and composed demeanour, found himself embroiled in verbal altercations with Price, who accused him of slow play and excessive celebrations. These exchanges not only added fuel to the already intense rivalry, but also left a lasting impression on fans and pundits alike. In a post-match interview with Sky Sports, Price didn't mince his words, asserting, he can't handle playing me. This candid remark only served to heighten the tension between the two players and fueled discussions within the darts community. What made this defeat even more bitter for Anderson was the context surrounding his journey to the final. Earlier in the week, he had faced a bizarre distraction when he was accused of breaking wind during a match against Wesley Harms. Anderson vehemently denied the accusations, but the incident had already made headlines and become a subject of humour and speculation within the darts world. Despite these distractions, Anderson had managed to put on an impressive performance, including a memorable victory over the three-time defending champion, Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-finals. However, the dream of clinching another world title was shattered in the contentious encounter with Price. Michael Smith's worst moment on the stage came in the 2021 William Hill World Darts Championship Final. As the final unfolded as Alexandra Palace, it was evident that Smith was on the cusp of a historic victory Victory. He was up against Peter Wright, a player who had already tasted the glory of a world championship win. Smith, seeking his first ever TV ranking title, was on the brink of a dream come true. The match was nothing short of a roller coaster ride. The lead changed hands multiple times, creating an atmosphere of suspense and excitement among the fans. Smith had reached a commanding position, leading 5 4 in sets and 2 0 in the 10th set. Victory was so close. Yet darts, like life, can be mercilessly unpredictable. Just when it seemed that Smith was about to etch his name in the darts history, the tide turned. Peter Wright launched a remarkable comeback. Smith's worst nightmare was unfolding before his eyes. Wright's clinical precision and unwavering focus allowed him to win nine of the next 10 legs, effectively snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. As Wright lifted the Sid Waddle trophy for the second time in three years, Smith was left grappling with the devastating realization that he had fallen agonizingly short yet again. In the post-match interview, Smith's emotions were raw and evident. He expressed his frustration at not being able to close out the match, especially after being in such a commanding position. This was not just a loss, it was a missed opportunity of epic proportions. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.